Okay, so let's start with the parameters. Uh, so last time we introduced actually microwave devices, uh, different type of microwave devices with one port, two ports, and three ports, and we're going to continue this. So now, uh, so we have two port devices, how much power is being incident and how much power is being reflected back to each port. There are some other parameters which are important to us. So I can really write this down in a general form as this. This can be turn, turn out to be mathematically as being a voltage which is being reflected back multiplied by the S parameter of it. Uh, uh, sorry, S parameter multiplied by how much voltage which is being incident at. I can rewrite this equation as this. This is the voltage. No matter how many ports are going to be there. If there are three ports, then it's going to be V1 minus, V2 minus, it's just like this, all the way up to Vn. Then, of course, if it's a two-port network, then this matrix is going to be 2 by 2, which means you will have four values. If it's a three-port network like a mixer, you will have three by three matrix, which means in the matrix you will have nine values and you will have nine voltages, incident voltages and nine, uh, sorry, nine incident voltages and nine reflected voltages. So I can actually generalize this using this. Sij is equals to Vi minus Vi minus Vj plus such that Vk positive is zero. This is a very, very important distinction that we have to know. This is very, very important. And so what this is saying is this. So Sij, I can calculate the S parameters of it, of, of any device. And Sij is like this, from port. So how do you read it? How do you read it? So it's actually not from I to J. It's actually from J to I. So the way you're going to read your S parameter is actually like in this direction. We are writing it like this. It's not going to be S parameter from I to J. It's actually from J to I. This is how you're going to read it. Okay. Uh, so VI is going to be, let's say you're performing uh, 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 S parameters. So VI uh, incident uh, reflected voltage of port 1 reflected voltage of port 1 divided by the reflected voltage of port 1 how much divided by the incident of how much voltage which is being incident at the condition here vk positive can is equals to the, this is a very very important condition that we have to fulfill what that condition is telling me is this that when you are measuring an s parameter so here's what i'm saying s11 let me do an example s11 is actually v1 minus divided by v1 positive so it's a ratio s11 it's a ratio of how much voltage is being incident uh, reflected to port 1 how much voltage is being incident at port 1 given at port 2 at port 2 is equals to zero, which means there is no source which is connected to port two. Port two is either properly matched or is not connected to any source. You gotta remember this. This is very, very important. So when I'm measuring an S parameter, I'll show you that while I was actually, while I'll, I'll measure these S parameters. What I'm saying is this, uh, I have a two port and vector network and when this thing when I'm connecting this to my vector network analyzer, when I'm connecting my antenna to my vector network, port 2 has to be properly matched. Properly matched or it should not have any supply. It does not have a voltage supply connected to it. All right. That's, that's what this condition is. V2 is equal to this. the port 2 should be isolated, which means it's supposed to be properly matched. So what? how do we actually do that in VNA? Uh, when we perform calibration, we perform calibration through calibration, open calibration, close, I mean, uh, short circuit, open circuit, through, and, and, and when, when we apply these, we actually calibrate them. So when we are connecting a single port device to check, it's we're autom automatically assuming the other port is actually matched, whatever, with 50 ohms, 75 ohms, or whatever it is. Now, this is a very important condition you got to remember. 
when when we are doing actually uh, um, s parameters so so what we do this is mean this means is this you got to remember this first condition there is no source no source on port 2 when i'm saying v2 positive is zero and second port 2 is matched is matched so when we perform calibration we perform all the calibration if one port is open one port is short one port is through and one port is open so when we do all that calibration it automatically take care of both of these conditions all right guys I hope you're understanding it. I hope you're understanding it. So that's that's the condition for a single port devices. So in this way, we can say if V2, there is no source connect, then S11 is exactly the reflection coefficient. So this row symbol or whatever that symbol is, this means that the S11 uh, uh, scattering parameter is equals to the reflection coefficient from port 1 to port 1 all right so let's look at another thing let's say I have a device like this which is a two port device like this we are just we don't care just about what's going on when I incident voltage at port 1 and how much is being reflected back at port two, uh, port 1 and uh, how much is being incident in port 2 and how much is being reflected back into port 2 we just don't care there are other parameters which are also involved since it's an amplifier there's also one thing that whatever i'm inputting there should be a gain as well because this amplifier should provide a gain isn't it so so this also i need to do it using s parameters so if i'm providing 10 volts and if this guy has a gain of let's say 10 so i should get 100 how do i actually visualize this so this can be written as s21 that is going to be s21 so so keeping that same nomenclature sij is equals to vi minus vj positive all right for single port this is the condition we need to fulfill but for two port device now we have my vna which is connected here my vna which is connected over here now we're going from from one to two all right from one to two we're going from where to where we're going from one to two which means when when we are looking at it when we are going from one to two for an amplifier we are actually looking for a gain all right so this from one to s to one so this is going to be from how much is voltage which is being reflected back into v2 divided by how much power is being reflected back all right from one to two so this is known as transmission gain since we are looking at an amplifier we are looking at a transmission gain for example if this guy has a gain of 10 if i'm putting one volt how much voltage it has a gain i mean it will give a gain of 10 this guy has a gain of 10 i'm inputting one volt what would be the output on the other side so we are actually looking for a gain and we actually call s21 is actually known as t21 t is for transmission so we're looking at a transmission coefficient we're looking at a transmission gain of this particular amplifier all right so reflection s11 from port 1 to port 1 port 2 to port 2 but transmission gain from this to this now let's look at another one let's look at s12 what would be the value of s12 now from port 2 to 1 s12 is going to be what from port 2 to 1 now from port 2 to 1 since it's an amplifier we cannot connect my input at the output and expect to get something from at the input port so it's actually an isolation isn't it this should not take anything from this port and should not give anything at the output so this should be zero isn't it 
it should not provide me anything it just wouldn't take anything at this input as an input and throw it out at the output because this is not a passive device just like these guys you can either connect them this side or this side it doesn't matter but for an amplifier this s12 is very important and this supposed to be zero i mean this supposed to be you should not see anything when i connect anything to this side and expect to get something from the input side so so that's how you actually uh, do it with respect to devices uh, so I hope you like this introduction tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure uh, to leave it in a comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we're going to continue this with the properties uh, in upcoming videos.